It's interesting you mentioned kids on, on medications like that, and and they're not they're not given to be uh, take these for a week or two weeks or anything like that. So they take them for many many years. And do we know the ramifications of a couple decades down the line when these kids have been on these medications since they were in early medical or elementary school, when you know they're 30, 35, 40 years old? I mean, what all those meds do down the line? Do we even know that yet? Isn't that one of the, kind of one of the scary things? Right, and not only with kids, so kids that have been labeled and all these different diagnoses that have been made when people come into our office, you know, a lot of people, they take that on their entire life. So if they were told when they were five years old in kindergarten that they have ADHD and they recall the teacher yelling at them because they can't concentrate and now they're taking this medication, not only in, when they're five, this is their entire life. So they grow up to be adults that have mental and physical and emotional challenges because of what happened in kindergarten. So the ramification of this, it depletes minerals out of your body, it depletes oils out of your body, and can contribute to high blood pressure, suicide, high cholesterol, sleeping challenges. If you look at you know schizophrenia and all these different neurological challenges, every single cell in our body needs minerals. And if you continually deplete that, every time you're taking a medication, we can't even see the effects that are gonna occur in the five-year-olds today that we will, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. We're gonna have different challenges going on, which I'm sure there will be a different medication for that. Um, but also birth control is a big thing. With women taking birth control, when we sit down and we go over different um, a history with someone of what they might be taking, it's really amazing to see that women don't even think of birth control as a medication because yeah. it's a part of their life. Mm -hmm. So, so many times when I'm sitting down with a woman and I'm writing down their history, are you taking any kind of medications? They say, oh yeah, Dr. Case, that I'm taking birth control, but I didn't really write it down there because I didn't think that was a big deal. Then we start asking, what kind? How long have you been taking it for? And now there's birth control that stops your menstrual cycle. Mm -hmm. And your menstrual cycle is getting rid of estrogen and helping with elimination and detoxification. That causes huge challenges in internally, hormonally, and also can lead to anxiety and depression. And it depletes zinc, magnesium, B vitamins. And when a woman starts taking a birth control when she's 13 or 14 because her cycle isn't regular, it's not irregular from lack of birth control. It's irregular because there's other things going on in your body. And even with women that come in and they've already had their uterus taken out, their ovaries, pieces and parts, they don't realize that you still need to work on supporting your body internally because you still have those nerves mm -hmm. to take care of. So it's truly an educational process and a learning process for us as the doctors as well as for the members. It's a true team effort because we're learning things all the time and we want to help to incorporate that to help people get better faster.